What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using one of the most underused and underrated starters of all time. We got ourselves an Inteleon team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Inteleon, this Pokemon can actually hit very hard with its sniper ability and the life orb as its item. It's a pure water type and it has the water terror type to boost water damage even more. And on top of that, it's got Snipe Shot, which is its signature move. Its other three moves consist of Ice Beam, Protect, and Haze, which is actually a pretty strong and viable move within this format. Other Pokemon on today's team features Whimsicott, Shiftree, Clefable, Glamora, and everyone's favorite, Hisuian Typhlosion. Now, Whimsicott and Shiftree pair up actually really well because you can set up Tailwind for Speed Control, then get that Wind Rider attack boost, allowing Shiftree to do some big time damage. I also really like Shiftree's other moves with Fake Out, Leaf Blade, Knock Off, and Explosion. So if I'm in a situation where I feel like it's time for Shiftree to go boom boom, we're going to make it go boom boom and just do a lot of damage across the field. Like I said, we got Typhlosion, Glamora, and Clefable. Clefable is going to be good for support. Glamora is just a solid special attacking option, especially with the Power Herb and Meteor Beam. And Choice Specs Typhlosion, doing Choice Specs Typhlosion things. It can erupt, it can use Heat Wave, Overheat, and Shadow Ball. We love this Pokemon. Guys, what am I seeing for yourself? Red the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Inteleon team. First match on its way, and we're going up against a pretty solid team. They got Farigarath. On top of that, they got Ursaluna. They got Dragapult. They got Sylveon. They got Grimstar for screens. And last but not least, they are using Torkoal. Now, when going up against the team that I see right here, they could set up screens. They could also set up Trick. That's two options for them, which is kind of scary because I don't really have any way of stopping Trick Room. Um... I mean, I would have to waste out turns, but I really feel as like a Whimsicott kind of sunny day lead here with Typhlosion is probably best for us. Definitely best for us. And I mean, if they go into Trick Room, we could maybe just like Encore them, but it wouldn't be able to work on Frigorath. That's our only problem. So maybe we can just get off a lot of damage here. Maybe we could just do a ton of damage. Now, we're definitely going to need ways to protect here. I do like Glamora here, so I am going to bring out Glamora. And do I bring out Shiftry or... Nah. I mean, Shiftry can waste out a turn with Fake Out. I actually really like Shiftry, so I am going to end up going Shiftry here. I am going to end up going Shiftry. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. So no Inteleon in match number one, just because of uh, the amount of sun that's going to be on the field. Chances are they're going to bring Torkoal. We're going to pop Sunny Day, maybe turn one. And I really don't, just don't want to be sitting there using Snipe Shot in the sun, doing basically no damage. So... We're choosing not to bring Inteleon here in match number one. I'll definitely get it out there in match number two. We're looking for a win here in match number one. Let's see who they end up leading here. It's going to be Grimmsnarl and Farigarath. So, yeah, chances are screen Trick Room. I mean, I don't mind going Sunday Day Eruption, seeing how much damage that can do. And I am going to end up doing that. I am going to end up doing that. So, Sunday Day. Let's do it. Let's go Fire Terror and let's just erupt. Let's just erupt. Let's just erupt. It's our it's our best it's our best chance. Hopefully they misclick and go for like a reflect. That'd be nice. That'd be awesome. There's no way you're faking out this Typhlosion slot because I'm ghost type. Well, I was ghost type. I'd be super surprised if you make this read down into rationalizing and you fake me out. The so sunny day out and about, beautiful. Get sunny day cooking. And there's the light screen. The light screen's here. They're going for trick room. We already know that. We already know they're going for trick room. And eruption's gonna fly here. Can we KO the frigograph? I don't think we can. Light screen's just so good. We double KO. Good call on my end. Get him on out of here. Hot start for your boy. So I don't mind the light screen. I do not mind the light screen. My biggest problem was the trick room. But now we're sitting in an amazing spot. They got slow Pokemon. They want to get off trick room. Eruption just went nuclear. And they're bringing out Ursa Luna. And last but not least, they got Sylveon. I can erupt. I can eruption to victory here. That Flosion already outspeeds. We'll just double down into you. And we'll just erupt again. So is that GG? One turn battle? Maybe two if they stay in here? One turn battle. So hot start for us with this team. Let's go hop into our second match. So guys, that first match, super quick. I'm ready to get after it here in match number two. We're going up against a Sea Titan Snow team with Incineroar. They also have Slowbro. They got Indeedee. They got Sinisha. So they could pop Trick Room. And that's not Slowbro. That's Slow King. So they got Trick Room, they got Weather. Um, we're going to have to bring in our Whimscott. And honestly, I might need our Whimscott. Do I lead it? Yeah, I'm cool with it. It's got Cobra Cloak. I am going to end up leading Inteleon because I told you guys 
I'd be bringing in Inteleon. Plus, I actually kind of like it for the league because I think you're going to lead like Incineroar or maybe like Sinistra. I don't think they just go straight into double snow. Um, Shift Tree going to be pretty solid in the back end here. Actually, it's okay. I'd rather go Glamora. I'm going to go Glamora. And last but not least, do I go? I got to go with Choice Specs. Typhlosion. Let's bring it in here. I probably honestly could have just led like Choice Specs Typhlosion again and tried to do what we just did in match number one, just set up the Sun Erupt. That could work actually really well. Probably actually would have worked perfectly. But I don't want to do that again. Let's be honest. Like, like one battle is enough for that, right? One battle is definitely enough. But we dominated match number one. I think that was like our only option though in match number one. So I'm trying something different here. I told you guys to get out Inteleon. So I'm going to lead Inteleon. Yeah, the last match I was just like, okay, if they get off Trick Room, we are sitting in a terrible position. So it was just like, we have to erupt and hope to KO that Frigraph. And we end up just picking up a double KO. But this lead, actually pretty solid. They could fake out my Wimscott. Um, they could fake out Inteleon. I am going to go for a Snipe Shot here. I think I am special attacking. And... I mean, I might as well just attack. I might as well attack. They're going to get off Trick Room. And I'm hoping I can just Encore him in the Trick Room the next turn. That'd be nice. But I'm kind of hoping they fake out the Whimsicott. Nope. I ultimately choose the Inteleon, which is fine. Moonblast is going to launch. Can we get a special attack drop? I know this thing's bulky. No, and they're going to get off Trick Room. So Trick Room... Oh, no. They're going to go for Yawn. They end up trying to put me to sleep. They end up just trying to put me to sleep. Now, do I Encore him into Yawn? I could. Because that wouldn't be Trick Room. Oh, dude, Yawn's just so annoying, though. I definitely want to swap Whimscott. Might just go into this Typhlosion, though. And who are they going to go in? What, what are they going to do? I definitely want to go into Typhlosion here. I think they swap Incineroar. I still got to go for a Snipe Shot here. I'm still going to go for it. Snipe Shot into the Incineroar slot. I think they swap it, though. But we're going to swap Whimscott first. I really just don't want to go into sleep. They could set up Trick Room. Um, if they do, they do. And we're going to see that they got the Figgy Berry and Leftovers. Okay. And there's a withdrawal of Incineroar. So you're going into a uh, snow Pokemon. You're going into a Lola Ninetales. No, it's going to be Sinisha. And I was going to go into the ice move. But yeah, Trick Room's got to come out here, right? And you heal up. Slow King. Which is fine. Snipe Shot's going to launch to about negative five. Actually, not bad damage. Was that a crit? It was not. But we're popping Air Balloon. And lose a little bit of HP. The Chili Reception comes out here. Gonna go into my Typhlosion. Oh no, it just starts to snow. Okay, I mean, I don't mind that. And he swaps out. I kind of haven't seen Chili Reception in so long. I thought it was an attacking move. So, I mean, I got Typhlosion here. Heat Wave can do some damage. You go back into Incineroar? Yeah, you're gonna go back into Incineroar. That's fine. Now's a good time for us to swap into, like, Whimsicott. Or just protect our Inteleon. Because I wouldn't mind keeping Inteleon on the field. Just ripping a heat wave. Hmm. I think I just protect Inteleon. He hasn't, he hasn't seen us protect yet, so... Kind of hope he's just going to go into it. But he's going to Thrasilize his Sinisha. I probably should have swapped him with Scott because he's probably going for Trick Room now. Can't believe he hasn't went for Trick Room yet, but he's playing this one real slow. Real slow. Heat wave's going to be not very effective on them both. Playing this one's good, though. They're typing as well. And we're just going to protect our Inteleon. Because we need it. We need the Inteleon. So no fake out. Wow. Time I protect. No fake out. Someone's dodged this. Who just dodged it? Of course Sinister dodges it. And Machigachi is going to launch. There's no Trick Room yet. No Trick Room. You go for knock off the KO my Typhlosion. That'd be a little tough. I just don't get the snow here. What was the point of popping the snow? Machigachi doing minimal damage. He's knock off coming out here. KO me. I'd be very upset. I'm going to be very upset. Yep. Bye-bye, Typhlosion. Yeah, and our opponent's playing this one really well. Really well. All right. Now what? Now we got to go into our... What's it called, though? Our Glamora. Get things cooking. Definitely got to get things cooking here. So Glamora's going to come out here. Um, We still have Wimscott in the back end. 
We are faster regardless, so like speed isn't mattering here. But I mean, they definitely want to go for a Machi Gacha. I think, honestly, they hard swap this Incineroar again. So I'm just going to go Meteor Beam this slot. And I'm going to hard swap into my Whimsicott. Save my Italian for, for later. Because now that they don't have Terra, they could be sitting a little bit better. So going to Whimsicott, chances are they hard swap Incineroar again. They don't. So we could have just KO'd Incineroar. And we're going for Meteor Beam into this slot. We're going after Sinisha with Power Herb Meteor Beam. Stab, too. This should do some nice damage. I'm hoping it just KOs this thing. It does. Cool. Meteor, Meteor Beam's so good. Especially on Glamora. We got rid of Sinisha. Um, Cinderella, what are you doing? Are you party shotting, maybe? What? Yeah, party shot. So he's going to party shot. My special attack's going to go back down to normal, which is okay. I mean, I can, I can bear with normal. And they could just go back into Incineroar if they want to and have that fake out option. They could. They definitely could. So I still have Terra, which is good news. Um, I think they go into Incineroar, maybe back into Slow King. And depending on who their last Pokemon is, if they go into like Ninetales or something, or see Titan, I would love to just pop Sunny Day. Hmm. Let's see, it's gotta be Incineroar again, correct? It's gonna be Incineroar again. So Incineroar out and about. Intimidate, not really doing anything up against us. Um Hmm. I could just spiky shield and protect. Do you have protect him, Scott? Yep, Encore. Um I doubt they fake you out though. That's that's my whole thing. I could go into grass tower, which is not that good. But I feel like I have to attack just in case they don't fake us out. I'm gonna do that. I am just gonna double down to this Incineroar slot. We're doubling right down to the Incineroar slot. He's gonna end up faking out Whimsicott. I do have Cobra Cloak, which is massive. Moonblast gonna launch. Bop. A little bit of damage. This thing is rocking to Figgy Berry. Can Earth Power do enough damage? It doesn't. It's not stabbed. So Figgy Berry's gonna get triggered here. Okay. And what are you going for, Mr. Slow King? That's the real question. You're going for Flamethrower. You should soak this Whimsicott. Alright, I was gonna be a little upset if you couldn't. Now do I double down into this slot again? This Incineroar slot? I should pop a Sunny Day. I really think it's Sea Titan as his last Pokemon. Rather than Ninetales. Could start charging Meteor Beam. Honestly, I am going to do that. I'm going to send it into this slot. I think Incineroar's definitely swapping here. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna pop a sunny day. No swap. Wow, I could just double down taking out Incineroar. You got a parting shot swap? Is that your play? Meteor Beam's gonna charge up. So they put out the sunny day. You know, for another flamethrower. I mean, flamethrower was killing us regardless. So, you end up going for a knockoff. So we charge up the Meteor Beam, Toxic Spikes are going to launch, Flamethrower's got to take out the Whimsicott. Yep, that's fine. And I know what I just did with, with setting up the Sun. Taking out Inteleon's Snipe Shot, but I really believe, I really believe that the last Pokemon is Sea Titan, so I really just want to, you know, get after it. So I'm going to go into Inteleon here. I mean, Snipe Shot should honestly still do some nice damage if we do get crits. It should be able to take out Incineroar, but I am going to Snipe Shot right here right now. Let's see, because I, again, I can still get crits, and, and the sun damage won't matter. So we're not sitting in a terrible position. It's actually a pretty close battle. Snipeshot's going to launch. Can I get the crit? I don't get the crit. Come on, man. I need the crit there. You have Snipeshot. You have Sniper and Snipeshot. I need the crit there. Meteor Beam going to launch. How much damage are we doing here? This thing's so bulky. I do get that plus one special attack, and knockoff is going to fly. Can I soak it? I don't. GG's to our opponent. They're going to end up taking this match number two. Really need that crit, man. Really need that crit from, from that Inteleon. If we crit there, oh, dude, we would have been sitting gorgeous. We would have been sitting gorgeous. But I'm curious to see who the last Pokemon is. Or was. Really curious about that. But, I mean, if I didn't set the sun, I think we win, <laughs> we win that game. That could just be on me. Maybe I shouldn't have set the sun. Yeah, it's going to be GG's because he's just going to put me to sleep. 
He is just going to put me to sleep. They can just protect these turns. I'm just going to run this one. GG sword opponent. We're going to go hop into our third and final match. Look to use Inteleon a little bit better and grab ourselves another win. Moving on to our final match for today's video. And I feel like I played that last one weird, right? I think I was just like in my head. I was thinking our opponent were going to do different plays. I think they were going to swap certain times and they just weren't doing it. And ultimately, we end up losing because of that. So we're in our third and final match and we're looking for a winning record. We are sitting one and one going up against a Rillaboom Golden Go Mousehold team with... Sylveon, they also have Sneasler, and last but not least, they do have Hisuian Arcanine. So they have two fake out users with Sneasler and Rollboom, and I feel as this lead of just Hisuian Typhlosion and Wimscott really covers the fake outs and can also do some big time damage. So I'm cool with going in with both of them. So I'm going to do that. On top of that, I'm going to end up leading or bringing in Inteleon. And last but not least, I like Shift Tree. Not really. I actually like Lamora a lot more. So I'm going to go in with Lamora. We have Earth Power. Going to be super effective onto the Sneasler, onto the Golden Go, onto that Arcanine. Actually, four times super effective onto that Arcanine. And we also have Rock Moves. So can't go wrong with Rock Moves. And Poison Moves. Can't go wrong with Poison Moves for that Sylveon. We like it. So I like Lamora as our last Pokemon. We're sitting one and one. Nice little bounce back match here, match number three. Let's see. Then I'm going into a fake out user with. Is that Pop Bomb Mousehold? That could definitely be Pop Bomb Mousehold. That could easily be Pop Bomb Mousehold. Yeah, you got Wylands. That's Pop Bomb Mousehold. I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing with you. We're definitely going to set up a Tailwind here. And I think we just launched Heat Wave. I think we just launched Heat Wave. I'm not going to Terrasize or anything. I'm going to set up this Tailwind. Hopefully, fix up Whimscott here. You don't know I got that Covert Cloak on me, though. You don't know I got that Covert Cloak. I actually didn't see the item that uh, Robin was holding. I'm kind of upset that we didn't. But I've seen the wide lens on the, the mouse hold. I should have paid more attention. So we'll see a terror type pop out of your turn one from Rillaboom going into fire, I'm guessing. The best terror type for him. Yeah, fire. That's that's fine. Which is why they don't really want to just like terrasize and attack. I mean we could still do some really good damage with Heat Wave onto this mouse hold. And I set up my tailwind. We're going for high horsepower, maybe? You could be. Let's see. Heat wave's gonna launch, it's gonna double connect, which is great. Doing good time, good damage to Mousehold. Pop Bomb's going to take out Whimsicott. You had a crit for a shot. Oh, man. <laughs> See you later, Whimsicott. Luckily, I did get off my tail when that really helps us out. Because now I can just bring out my Inteleon. Snipe shot through. There's another Heat Wave will KO the Mousehold. As long as my boy right here soaks up this high horsepower. It's got to be high horsepower, right? Yeah, you got to soak this up. You do. Awesome. That's what we needed. That is exactly what we needed. Because now I can bring out my Inteleon. And I can really start thriving here. Cool. So Inteleon, come on down. They already used Terra as well. Another Heat Wave takes out Mousehold. Like this. I like this. And this is exactly why we want to go into Heat Wave rather than Eruption. So we'll do this and we'll just start a Snipe Shot. I think there's no need for us to make a read or anything. I think we just straight up attack. You could swap, but I mean, at that point, it's free damage. Snipe Shot going to launch for the KO. Don't pick up the KO Heat Wave. Can you, can you finish things up around here? Can you clean, clean messes up around here? All day. All day. Let's go. That's a huge start for us in the second match. Or not second match. Third match. We get rid of Mouse Hold. We get rid of Roll Boom. We got some Speed Control going. They got two Pokemon. And they don't have Terra, which is good news. Maybe I should have Terrasalized my Inteleon there. But I, I'm relying on this thing to get some more crits here with Sniper and uh, Snipe Shot. But it's just not happening. <laughs> it's just not happening. We're getting no crits out here. We're getting no crits out here. So let's see. Let's see their final two. One of them is going to be Sylveon. One's going to be Sneasler. One is going to be Sneasler. And the next is going to be Golden Go. Alright, so Golden Go is a little scary. Um, Sneasler is going to pop its seeds. It's going to get a nice little defense boost. The thing is, like, I could just straight up Heat Wave here. I could just protect you because I think Fake Out could slide into the slot. So we're going to protect the Inteleon. We're going to try to roll out into a Heat Wave. I think we have two turns left in Tailwind, which is really good for us. We protect our little reptilian friend. And are they going to fake us out? They're not. And we're going to miss a Heat Wave? Who's dodging this? Can you hit Golden Go? You don't hit Golden Go. Just what I wanted. So now I'm out Typhlosion. And I got off no damage on the Golden Go. So yeah, we should have probably KO'd Golden Go there. That would have been awesome. And Shadow Bolt's going to launch. All right. All right, no big deal. We still have Glamora, who I absolutely love. And from here, we could just Earth Power down Sneasler. And maybe a Water Terra. 
Do we water tower or do we grass tower this Glamora? Hmm. There might be grass tower this Glamora. How many turns are left in Tailwind? One. Okay. One turn left in Tailwind. We're in a grass Terra. And just get rid of him, and then we're just gonna snipe shot here. I feel like a protect has to fly from one of their ends. We're going for grass Terra rather than water Terra. Look at them win this game. I just don't feel like dealing with that steel move, just absolutely just <laughs> destroying me. So, straight in the grass Terra. No protect from Sneasel would, would really be big for us. And no protect from any of them. Snipe shot comes out there. There's the crit I was looking for. Or was that not a crit? No, it wasn't a crit. And you're outspeeding me. I'm surprised you're outspeeding Glamora. You could have just KO'd Glamora, but thank, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. We get rid of Sneasler. Now we're sitting in a perfect position. 2v1, we should be fine. I mean, honestly, actually 1v1. I totally forgot Golden Go didn't go. But I mean, a 1v1, we still should be fine here. We really should still be fine. You can go for Make It Rain. I should be able to soak it. And I should just be able to finish you off. You have no terror type. If you one-shot my Glamora, I'm going to be so upset. I'm almost positive Glamora should outspeed you regardless. Yeah, yeah, you should be faster. So we'll just go for Earth Power. We'll look to clean up this match. And is that going to be a 2-1 winning record with Inteleon? Inteleon was frail today, but it hit hard when, when we needed it to. So good third and final match to kind of showcase Inteleon. Let's see what they end up doing here. They have no terror. I mean, yeah, dude, Earth Power should just land clean this one up. Little winning record, going for another 2-1 winning record. I feel like that's all we got in regulation H so far. It's just 2-1 winning records. Losing one match, winning the rest. It's awesome. Shadow Ball is going to land. We soak this all day. Unless you crit. All right, cool. Cool. You do get a special defense drop, but Earth Power. Going to clean this whole mess up. Night, night. GG's to our opponent. We go 2-1 and grab ourselves yet another winning record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Inteleon in ranked regulation age. Didn't do too bad with it today. Like I mentioned at the end of match number three, definitely a frail Pokemon, but still hit on the harder side, doing great damage, picking up some KOs, all that good stuff. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.